This is my board study book and uh, is for my several years collection. And now I use it for my uh, bird painting workshops. And uh, the people all like this book and because uh, for analyze the structure of the birds make the painting so easy. Now this one bird in different posture and I draw the contour of the feather patterns so they uh, help you to paint. And this one is a beak drawing and look the beak and look in particular for this one look they opened like inside under the eye uh, not like this one some people paint like this way uh, that's wrong. Okay, this is a beak of a parrot, and uh, normally the beak moved the bottom instead of the top. They only lift up the head, and if they move like open, is uh, drop the the bottom drop. A nice one. Yeah, this also another way to uh, show the beak. Because in my teaching, I found a lot of students, they didn't draw the beak right. And it's a contour of the head and the pattern um, of different part of the head. Yeah. yeah, this one is also a practice of feather groups. And the thumb, just a little bit of hint there, if they are one color birds and some uh, colorful birds. So uh, normally they different patterns, like the ear pattern, they have different colors. The cap have different colors. So another practice, look, this head just like a ball like a bone, so it's uh, round and three dimension. And this is uh, the drawing one bird in different uh, direction, so you have to get the perspective right, especially for the beak, for the beak. Yeah, another practice for the, the beak. Yeah, this one is um, uh, very important. There's a re uh, reality in the feather like this, but we would not paint this way. They paint in groups. Uh, they have different part names of the birds. So if we draw the groups right, it looks like a, a bird. So another uh, practice of uh, pattern. Is uh, drawing. Yeah, this when I draw this is locked down and the COVID lockdown. So, yes, yeah, another practice of bird pattern. And this is a skeleton of the bird. It looks the leg, the claws, the leg. They have three part of the leg. And uh, this two uh, part and mainly head in the uh, under the feather, and look the neck also uh, quite very flexible, so they can have um, uh, turn by hundred degrees. So, yeah. And this one is uh, show the head; they can stretch. Look, same birds; they just stretch head. Actually, they also can move their uh, tail up and down, curved and this way. Yeah, this is uh, a drawing of feather. So, yeah, this is uh, a um, feather group when they stretched out and look, uh, they have uh, different level of feathers. This is a uh, eye. Um, I draw a big one to show the eye and this uh, uh, claw practice.
in work law practice because it's very important. You have to um, understand the uh, structure, like from thin to get thin, uh, to from thin to get thick here, and separated uh, with different uh, fingers. Yeah, this is another French drawing and in different posture. Yes, a drawing. Yeah, look, sometimes I draw at the very beginning, I draw these squares, so uh, for me, easy to understand and make the. Um, yeah, drawing more correct because we do our eye have illusion. It's a head practice. Yeah, this is another interesting thing. You know, the tail they can change, and also uh, sometimes we we have a uh, take a photo of birds. Uh, and uh, we want to put on a branch, maybe not exactly fit, uh, fit there, so it's one bird we can, yeah, we can move their uh, clothes, uh, move their legs according to what we need. This practice with uh, swan. Yeah, this is the um, green or egret, I think it is a egret, a great egret. I saw it in the Harrison Island. And look, this one, the neck can be very long and also can be very short. Very interesting bird. Yeah, mainly the drawing, I just show the contour outline and the direction of the feather. Yeah, so another interesting thing is to show the three dimension of the word bird. Mm. Yeah, they go practice and a bird in different posture. And it's a pelican, flying pelican. So rooster, different part of a rooster. Yeah, this is my bird book. <laughs> <laughs>